Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Hash to South of Five. Just kind of clear out the energy a little for you, for me, Shay. All right, so here doing readings for the month of September, Shay. Just clearing out the energy, like I said before. Currently on the sign of Virgo, so just a. Uh, I want to give each one of the decks at least one shuffle before I um, begin laying out cards. I want to clear out the energy from the last reading, right? All right. So, Virgo, maybe a releasing a relationship as well. What's playing now is. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. So there's a perhaps a re revelation um, you're receiving about some work that you need to do. Um, maybe in working on yourself, as you may be noticing a lot of relationships. You know, maybe ending. I'm gonna say a lot, but maybe some relationships ending. Um, maybe there's some, I just saw the page of wands. So uh, maybe there's some immature energy that you need to release. First thing out here is the seven of swords, deception. So I don't know if maybe you guys are exercising um, some deceptive energy, or maybe that's someone exercising that type of energy towards you. But um, yes, there's some perhaps lies and some deceit going on around you, or it's you, right? Let's see what other energies come out here justice right so either you are reaping what you've sown or someone else is because someone is taking their perhaps is taking their love away we just have a lover's card here so there's justice going down in a relationship looks like someone may be putting up some boundaries here with the four of pentacles that's a lack, that's a, you know, the kind of the energy of lack, that's the energy of loss. Um, all right, so three cards came out, don't know. Just gonna shuffle them. And then the order that they come out, so we have here. So yeah, so uh, the five of swords, someone has perhaps set up some boundaries, which has caused a lot of mental conflict for you. Um, and we have the Empress card. Um, let's just get all the cards out here. Let's see what's going on. So the Empress card is abundance. It's the mother and figure. It's the energy of manifestation. And then the page of chalices. The knight of swords, though, is, you know, could be like, you know, the energy of an argument. And then we have the, the, the reading ending on in the sun card with the sun card. Um, the overall energy here is the three of uh, cups. And then I'm seeing the emperor card here as well so you most definitely is in, um, have the energy of or have the possibility or the opportunity to truly take control of this matter um whatever it may be let's get some of the other cards out we have the a let go the let go deck here All right, so the song playing now is A Stranger in My House by Tamiya. Another song about, you know, leaving. So 
someone changing. You know, like this deception card. That's what, you know, I'm getting. He wouldn't treat me like you do. He would adore me, wouldn't ignore me. And maybe that's how your person is feeling about you and why, you know, why they have to, you know, perhaps end the relationship or separate themselves or put a wall up towards you or vice versa, you know. They will have nothing to tell. Could it be? Is there someone imitating me? Someone living a double life. All right, so we have the health card, friendship. And the freedom card. All right, so Virgo. Could be some health issues going on here or spirit wanting you to focus more on your health uh, when he has here let go of the old tales and write your own adventure story okay so the reason why you may have are in this situation in regards to you know relationships around you maybe not being in the best um health maybe your relationships aren't healthy because of the negative thoughts and tales that you tell yourself and spirit is asking you to take the time apart to, you know and really get truthful with yourself you know and know that you have here the freedom card the freedom you have the power and the free will to create your own happiness right friendship i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason and then you know that energy is is you know the first any card after that is the four of um coins so maybe there are some friendships that it's time for you to you know um just step away from for a minute because so that you can clear out the negative um mind frame the negative conflict so that you can be in this energy of the empress and begin to bring abundance right back into your life to create your own happiness here with the sun card you know with these whatever relationship there's a relationship walking out of your life or you walking out of a relationship it's most definitely is for the purpose of elevating you right uh helping you get to the heart of the matter and truly do the work that you need to overcome. And know that you're supported here as you go through this here. It says you are supported and will have helpers whenever you need them, let them come. Stop trying to do everything on your own, um, Virgo. You're only deceiving yourself. You're only hurting yourself and your own health when you try to do things all on your own. You're only hurting yourself and your own health when you hold on to those old tales in your life that, you know, are those, uh, you know, deception and, and those lies, you know. Stop lying to yourself in the energy or in the area of you know talking perhaps down on yourself uh the last let go card here says explore life and create your own experiences let go of being normal virgo yes you're trying so hard to you know perhaps live a life that is not truly in tune with your authentic self so clarifying the seven of um, source we have, when our union is close, God will, will reveal to me who you are. Until then, I shall remain sleeping blind. 
Exactly. So those maybe people leaving or removing themselves from your your life at this time because it's very important. So yeah, like it says here, um, with the seven of swords, when our union is closed, God will reveal to me who you are. Until then, I will remain sleep and blind until you get your mental, emotional, and spiritual health together. You know, there are people separating themselves or vice versa. Maybe you need to separate yourself from some people in your life until they get their mental, um, spiritual, emotional, or physical health together. Um, and, you know, in removing yourself, it's going, that is justice. This person either removing them from your life is justice being served or vice versa. Um, clarifying that is I replay our conversations over and over in my head, you know. Um, but again, know that you're supported during this time, whether it's you leaving someone or someone else leaving um, you. And like I said, this is time for you to be in deep thought. And that's what, you know, replaying the conversations over and over, learn, seeing what you could have done differently, right? Um, clarifying the lover's card, we have explore life and create your own experiences. Let go of being normal. And my emotions are like an angry sea. These waves consume me. I'm drowning. So, yeah, it looks as though um, a, a, a love relationship has walked out of your life. So I'm going to go with that storyline here. Um, well, like I said, this could be the other person as well could be the other person but this is all about you know you empowering yourself though because remember we have the empress emperor card at the bottom of the deck and below the emperor card is the victory card the six of one so there is going to be victory when you are able to release the deception those old things that are no longer serving you it says that was then this is now let go of last year last week and yesterday and live in the moment exactly the time of just truly transforming your mind frame and no longer telling yourself those negative things you know truly befriending yourself you know uh, setting up those healthy boundaries so that you can clear out the, the negative mental conflict that you have, you know, those clear out those negative stories that you've been telling yourself so that you can tap into this empress energy, this energy of abundance, of manifesting those, the love and the, you know, all the things, all your goals and your desires manifesting that into your life. Okay. So, clarifying the uh, Four of Pentacles card, we have, I don't like being without you, right? And that's right underneath the Seven of Swords um, and the Physical Union card saying that when it's time for us to come together, God will reveal to me who you are but until then I will remain seat sleep I will remain sleep and blind right so you may be feeling or your person may be feeling depressed or something or you know just you know about this friendship being in separation but like this card says the friendship card I understand that you're in my life for a reason right and this that reason may have been for a lifetime or a season but also the reason may be for you to grow so clarifying uh, the five of swords we have connect with me and the stars tonight right so um this is about you know just that meditative energy of connecting with spirit to bring about a peace to bring about a clarity and in clarifying the Empress card we have telepathically communicating with you your soul always knows what to say 
exactly your soul our higher selves are always abundant like the empress card you know our souls and higher self knows exactly what we need to do to manifest the things that we need and with the fact that you guys are not in communication with each other you're separated right now maybe you guys speak to each other in the 5d in your dreams like it says connect with me and the stars tonight and as you take this time um to heal like it says here when it's time for you to come back together god will make it happen we will reveal to this person um it says it was you know the bottom of the deck it says it was my fault but because of my pride i blamed you so virgo this could be for you it may have been your fault as to the reason why this person had to walk away but instead of taking accountability you blame the other person or it could be vice versa um but in you accepting your end you know it may be using a bit of humor you know don't take life too seriously we all make mistakes we all are learning on this journey and just do the work that you need to do to to become healthy again mentally spiritually emotionally or physically do the work that is needed because this person is not saying i'm done with you forever it's just saying that you know when it's time for us to come together god will reveal to me that you've done the work god will reveal to me that it's time for us to come back together but until then i will remain sleeping blind i'm not going to put myself through that through uh this, the bullshit anymore you tell yourself negative tales and speak to yourself negatively negatively and that's that is you know trans um trans i mean whatever goes on internally is you know goes on outwardly as well your outward um, reflection your outward um, circumstances is, is just a reflection of what's going on internally so if you have a bad you know internal relationship with yourself then if you may you know exercise that same with other people or some other people but um, the human card here says I choose to focus on the lighter side of life and underneath that is the judgment card it says I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges it's challenges but in, ex in accepting your unique path and your challenge, you know, taking control, which is going to bring about victory because we have the six of swords underneath there. It's going to bring you freedom, right? The power and free will to create your happiness. This is a powerful message coming into you um, or for you or for your person it's with the knight of swords here. So let's get clarity on the knight of swords energy, please. says each lifetime each dimension i'm running and hiding i'm shame i'm ashamed i'm full of regret i let you carry us on your own strength i'm honored that you did so for so long and maybe that's the the truth that you're coming into or your person is coming into virgo that you know you guys most definitely have a soul uh connection Um, most definitely have a soul connection as you know have experienced each other in each lifetime so this again so this person could be a family member we know that our family members can be soulmates um, we also have kindred spirits or soul family. So again, it could be a soulmate that you're dealing with. Cause remember we did have the lover's card here. Um, and I don't know which way it goes, but, uh, perhaps you've always, you know, been the person that ran, you know, was running and hiding in each lifetime, each dimension living a life that is full of regret, you know, because you keep telling yourself those old tales instead of taking, you know, your power and writing your own future, you know, exploring life and creating your own experiences, letting go of the need to, to appear normal or be normal, you know, and let, letting others help you instead of, 
you know, just throwing all of your baggage onto someone else. As you, the night with the Knight of Swords here, it's time for you to come into, uh, or your person to come into knowledge of such, right? So that you can have a new beginnings here with the Page of Pentacles. This could be new beginnings in love. This could be just an immature um, emotional energy. And clarifying that is the waiting game in possession, right? Uh, the possession card could be addictions. Um, so perhaps there's an addiction to drinking here because it's the cups card, right? Uh, the emotions, um, but the chalices are cups. So there could be an addiction to drinking and we have the waiting game. So this, so I feel like this is more of that immature energy, that running, that hiding, full of shame and regret, letting someone else carry the burden, you know, um, is that energy. So once you get over that energy, you have the sun card. It's time for you to take accountability or your person to take accountability. Have the sun card. It says, I know I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together, it's beautiful, Right. So that's probably the sun card there, that energy. Um, so whether someone tore you apart and like I said, you're taking the time to distance yourself and to learn to love yourself again and put yourself back together again. Or maybe that's what this other person is doing, right? Waiting game until you do the healing that you need to do. So again, uh, Virgo, it's either you separating from someone or someone separating from you, but it's all for uh, the highest good because there's work that you need to do or your person needs to do in the area of spirituality and the spiritual in the energy of uh, healing your inner child so you know take the time that you need we have the Empress card again Empress card coming out twice and underneath that is karmic lessons I most definitely feel like you are going through a karmic lesson right now um, so that's what I have for you. I hope they helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Virgo. I love you all. And until next time, peace. Oh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. Love you all. Share with me and positively and with your energy with hitting that like button or donating if you want to. My cash app link will be in the uh, description box below.